Amen. Welcome to the On Point Woman with Dr. Ronnie. I am Dr. Ronnie Adesan here, and I'm excited that you've joined me again today. My very good friend is in the house, Dr. O. I call her at times, Dr. Odua Yobishe. She's going to be sharing with us today. We're focusing on another aspect of wellness and you. So, Dr. O, welcome to the program. I hope you are ready because we are ready for you. God bless you. Amen. Good afternoon. Uh, hi, good day, everyone. I am excited to be back. And uh, Dr. Ronnie, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about an area of uh, coaching that, and life that is so important to me. And I believe important to people as well, because when we are at ease, that means we're in health and where our domains are in alignment. Because uh, one of the reasons that this is also important is that we are living longer. And so we need to make sure that all of these domains are in alignment so that if the Lord spares our life and we live to not only fulfill our days, but you know, live long, we would not have a seat that is not balanced. So I want to very quickly go back to nutrition, uh, to physical health. We talked about nutrition. I'm not going to go back there, but there are some other areas of uh, physical health that I want to talk about. You know, sexual health is important. Whether you're married, you're single, it is important that you also pay attention to your sexual health because that's part of your physical health. As women, a lot of things can go wrong. Same thing, men, are we going to a physical? Are we? Do we have an OBGYN that takes care of that aspect for us? And not just that. You know, if you're single, you know, you can't just be jumping from one uh, partner to the other. It, it's about being, you know, working in alignment and making sure that one is careful. And lastly, substance, substance abuse is something that, you know, whether we like it or not, we have to talk about it. Because even now, um, most states have legalized some of the things that before there were things that, you know, you don't see them in public. So even when you're working, uh, for those of us that are in healthcare and we can make out the smell, you can smell it even as you're walking around. So one just mm -hmm. has to educate one oneself and educate your children and your family members on the risk of all of these substances, whether it's alcohol or marijuana or even prescription medications can become substance of abuse. So it is important that we are, we are mindful of all of these things. And you know, I would be remiss to not talk about sitting, sitting down. If you sit down for a long time, actually literature is showing now that sitting down is akin to smoking. So if you sit for a long time without getting up, you are at the same level of risk as somebody who smokes. Can you believe that? Wow. Yep. So yeah, because that all these wrist watches, the the prep you like they they give you alert. It's time to stand up. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah, it, it's really true. It's true because in fact, one thing that came to mind the last session when we were talking about. Well, be one of the things that came to my mind is, especially for those of us that work remotely, you're on your computer all day, mm -hmm. you know, it's good to get up and move around. And not only that, make sure that for some of your meetings, if you're, if you're not on camera, move around. Do it moving around. You're on your computer, carry your computer and pace up and down. Yes. You know, that's something I did a lot of years ago. And I told myself, that's one of the things I want to reinstitute more consistently. Moving around during meetings, because you are, nobody's seeing you. Don't sit down there and get mm -hmm. chubby. Uh, like I've done in the last <laughs> one and a half months. <laughs> Thank you so much. And of course, parents, I want to put this plug again. You know, look at um, exchanging our sugary drinks and food for something that is healthier. Um, I'm hoping that we will have time or maybe on another session to talk about uh, reading labels, because sometimes we do tend to consume what is supposed to be several servings. We consume it at one time because we're not reading the labels. So now we're going to go to, um, you know, occupational slash intellectual. Some people call it vocational. 
that's also very important because we just mentioned, uh, we just talked about the fact that if you're not happy at work, if your work gives you stress, emotionally, uh, psychologically, even physically, one might have issues and it begins to affect one's mental health. You, you, you know, now one of the big buzzword in, um, in the corporate world and in the work environment is psychology safety. If someone doesn't have psychological safety, then that means, you know, you're on edge, you're worried, That's you're right. concerned. So then we begin to talk about mental health, about emotional health. Then people bring the baggage home and they begin to lash out at their family. That's where, again, the interconnectedness of these different dimensions or domain, that's where they happen. So we talk about preparing and using our skills and our talents. You know, it's not the way that I look at it. And I know you and I have talked about um, one of my areas and one of my um, other presentations, what's in your end? God gives us gifts and talents, not just for ourselves, so that we can discover our purpose in life and whether we like it or not people there are destinies that are depending on what god has deposited in you and i and so if we do not work to discover the purpose if you're somebody who sings fantastically have you gone to go to see maybe it's to worship him to to just help people when you sing and it lifts people up their bodies are lifted up or if you have the gift of administration, you know, I try to hide, but there's ever anywhere that I get to that, you know, if there's need to administer something, I just find myself gravitating towards that, encouraging people. I love to encourage people. I tell people I'm an encourager. So, you know, preparing, you have to prepare and then you get ready, you use it. You know, people say, I'm still praying, I'm still praying. God cannot bless what you have not touched. If you don't move, how do you get better? Like I wanted to coach for so long and I was coaching in my women's ministry, in my place of work, because I'm a, you know, I'm a leader by the grace of God. And that's how I actually got into coaching. I wanted to do more, have more, just not mentoring. I wanted, I found people gravitating towards me. So it's discovering and that led me to discovering other skills other than pharmacy, other skills that are soft skills. So that's what intellectual, occupational, and vocational talks about, you know? And when you discover that, then you gain purpose and you're able to have happiness. Your happiness does not depend on anybody else. A lot yeah. of us that are married, we think our husband is this. No, your husband cannot make you happy. Your happiness comes from here. And then you have a fulfilled life. My signature program as a life optimization coach, targeted towards women, but I have also had men that have used it with. It's being able to have alignment. When people are successful, but they don't have peace, they're not happy because there's no fulfillment. There's no joy. They have lost a sense of purpose. Right. That's because wow. you have not taken the time to up work that's which God has placed in your life. Have you even engaged it? Mm -hmm. A lot of us have gifts that we have not. They are lying dormant. It's so I don't want, that's a pet peeve for me, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, well, we'll keep up now. We have to wrap up, but we thank you mm -hmm. again for your time. Don't forget to join us for the wrap-up session next week. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.